Hey, good afternoon, you guys, and welcome back, everybody, to Realty Rights. Um, so today we took delivery of our bike from uh, Goody's uh, Motorcycle Shop in Everett, and uh, we got you saw the, on the last video the bike started up, it ran great. Uh, but today we're going to do a first test ride on this bike, and I'm going to show you what I do when I build a bike um, before I ride it, before I kind of give it a little bit of a shakedown. I go to, through pretty much the entire motorcycle to kind of show you guys uh, some of the parts that may fail, some of the things to look out for, um, some of the precautions that you need to do when you do a ride for the first time, especially when you're riding a bike with a right hand shift and when you're used to the left hand shift. So we're gonna do a little ride around, uh, around our neighborhood, not gonna go far, because in case it does stall on me or something goes wrong, I'll be able to push it back home to the house. But today is pretty much a, uh, a rundown of what I like to do before I, I ride the bike long distances and go through a 250 mile uh, break-in period. So thanks for watching Realty Rides again. Hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, you'll find it entertaining. All right, so what are we looking at here? We're looking at our 1973 XLCH Sportster that, I, that took me uh, five to seven years to build. Um, you saw the videos from the past in different pieces and in um, various stages of construction. Well, it is now complete. <clears throat> and I should, war I should uh, caution myself and say that it's complete to a point because it still needs to be broken in. So. Every bike that I built, and I built three, there's a period of time that exists that things can still go wrong. For example, on the Yamaha, I couldn't get the carburetors tuned really well, and it had to be rejetted three or four times. On Little Wing, it uh, had a problem with the starter, and it also had a problem with um, having, again, a carburetor issue where I had to have rejetted because she would cough and stall on me. And on this bike here, I'm not quite sure what the gremlins are going to be yet. That's why I'm going to take my time because this bike is a little bit different than the other two bikes. Let me go into the garage and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Conventionally, the shifters on most bikes, it's on the left-hand side. You've got your clutch lever here on the left-hand side and the lever, the shifters on the left-hand side as well. On little wing here, the shifter is on the left hand side, clutch lever is on the left hand side as well, and of course on the more modern bikes they're all on the left hand side. But back in the day they created this bike to have a left hand brake which is right over here for the rear brake and a right hand shifter because this was predominantly used as a flat track bike. And they do, they race these bikes in wide ovals and they were all left turns. So it was hard to shift if you had to, uh, you know, shift with your left foot and make a left turn at the same time. So another thing that's really important when you get a bike back after it's been in the shop for two or three months with uh, various people working on it, uh, the mechanics are great. They've done, they did a great job. But from my experience at the Boeing company, Every airplane had to be tested and tweaked and fine-tuned and motorcycles and cars are no exception. So in this situation, I'm looking at all of the things that could possibly go wrong. Like for example, my front brake cable right here, make sure it's nice and tight. Make sure the bolts are all, nothing's loose. Believe it or not, sometimes you can find things that are finger, finger tight because somebody might have forgotten to torque it down or fasten it or even install it for that matter. You're looking for leaks anywhere around the bike itself, around all of the casings and uh, covers, the push rods, making sure there's no leaks on the get on the carburetor. Here's the oil tank, make sure it has plenty of oil in it and it should because we just got it. It's got plenty of oil in it. And again, make sure all the electrical wires are connected. There's the battery underneath there. Battery is inside this little oil tank. It's a horseshoe oil tank. 
Make sure all the cables are connected for the rear brakes. Shock absorbers, again, looking for loose bolts. Anything that may be coming glaring at you. The chain tension. Make sure the chain is not rubbing against the tire, which is not. Make sure the fender is not rubbing against the tire, and it's not. Then on the left-hand side, looking at the tail here, the right brake. Let's see if all the lights work. Light works great. And let's see if it works also with the uh, brake. Okay, that works good. And the headlight. That works good. So there's the, there's the ignition switch that we developed. It's the same kind of ignition that a car has. Here's the brake lever. Here's the clutch lever. Nothing loose. Nothing, nothing finger tight. All torqued down. Spark plug wires are installed correctly. No loose, and especially on the rear axles, on the front axles. Make sure there's no play. Spacers are all good. Clutch lever works good. Front brake lever works good. Got fuel. It's got fuel in it, good. A lot of things can go wrong. So you want to make sure the mirrors are on tight, they're loose. Gas tank's in installed correctly, it's not shifting, it's not wobbly. That's good. The coil is connected properly. Again, you're looking for anything that could possibly come loose and cause you a little bit of a problem. Voltage regulator is attached properly. Generator, wires are all on there good. All right. Tires don't have any scratches or tears in them. These are brand new tires. Forks have no leaks. A little bit of here. It's not a big deal. And let's see what else. Yeah, everything looks pretty good so far. start the bike up for you guys in a minute so you can see how good it runs all right so so far so good well there's mr. Dexter and uh, he also wants to see this thing start up so I'm sure you guys are pretty excited so let's go ahead and fire this beautiful bike by the way we named it Elvira the mistress of the dark so first things first okay Dexter be quiet so there goes the petcock it goes into the run position choke lever up. This is, by the way, is the s, s Super E carb with a very handy choke lever. And uh, give it a couple of squirts. And right here is the ignition switch. And let's fire this thing up. And here we go. Yeah, bring down the aisle a little bit. Alright you guys, I'm about ready to ride this bike for the first time around the block a few times. Um, I'm probably not going to have the microphone on my helmet. It's going to be probably a little too noisy. And I'm having a hard time talking right now with through this helmet. So I'm just going to do a voiceover and explain to you what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be riding, the, around, riding this bike around the block a few times to make sure that it is uh, roadworthy.
Well, you guys, I just rode the bike around uh, about a mile and it runs great. It's very strong, very smooth, but like all Harleys, it developed a little bit of a leak on the bottom. I suspect something has to be tightened up. Uh, I don't think it's really serious. It's not leaking here where the rock, where the uh, push rods are. It's not, not that I can tell, but it's definitely got a little bit of a leak. But overall, the bike is a strong bike, performs great. Uh, leaks can be fixed. I was more concerned about the bike having uh, performance issues, and it doesn't. It runs really nice, but you know, this is the first ride I took on this bike. And yes, it needs to be tweaked. It's like with any other type of DIY motorcycle, you need to uh, take your time and get it uh, spooled up. This is why we do what's called shakedown runs. And uh, this is no exception. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will send some, um, some more videos your direction once the bike is completely finely tuned and we go for long, nice long rides on it. But Elvira did good today, you know, for her first ride around the block here on Whidbey Island. I love her. She's a beautiful bike. We just got to fix those little leaks. And then uh, she'll be ready to go for the long haul. So thanks for watching Realty Rides, you guys. Hope you have a great afternoon. We'll see you guys on the next ride.